Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy and today we're going to be taking a look at another kit from Fantasy Bricks and this is the amazing looking Astro Boy Awakening Moment. Now you'll have seen here recently on Toy Ploy that I reviewed one of their other kits which was the mechanical clear version of Astro Boy and I had a really good time building that kit. It was a fantastic sort of build using really intricate parts and strange bricks that I'd never seen before to make a really nice looking Astro Boy that was sort of half built. You got one side with Astro Boy sort of all built and the other side seeing all of his internals. I had great fun doing that so um, uh, they very kindly sent me uh, this other kit which is the Astro Boy Awakening Moment which looks even more complicated with sort of even more amazing bricks to use and as well as that it lights up. There's a lighting kit to go in it at the end so today we are going to get to grips with building this kit. As you can see here it comes in a very large box with a really nice bright vibrant graphics on the front. On the front you see an image of what you're going to build which shows Astro Boy in his capsule sort of being built and being awakened and looking on from the side is Dr Tenmar. On the back of the box you can see there's a few more bits of uh, artwork showing what happens and it looks like there's some moving parts as well. There's not a huge amount of detail on these boxes. Uh, it just has the Pantasy logo at the top and uh, it says uh, Tetsuka Productions because this is a officially licensed this toy in uh, one corner with a nice little sort of holographic badge to uh, show that it is properly licensed. Uh, so really what we've got to do with this box is sort of get on and open it and see what's inside. So inside that large box was two other boxes. I'm guessing this kit is so big it's best to split it into two separate ones. So we have one box here which has got uh, parts one to nine in it and then the box behind has got parts 10 to 15. Uh, I would guess that the uh, build instructions will be in this first box. Uh, what I didn't show you with the outside of the box is that it also comes with this little envelope which is all of the lighting stuff. If you watch my previous video you'll have seen me add the lights. I imagine it's much the same. I'm not gonna open this until we get to the point that we need to put them into the kit which is essentially at the end of this we build all of this and then you go back and put the lights in. Uh, they're fairly small wires and fairly small pieces so I will do that at the very end. But let's get on with this kit. So I'm going to open box one to nine. We'll see what's in there and see what the instructions look like. Okay so there is that box open. You can see there is a huge pile of bags. There's an awful lot of pieces in this. I just checked on their website and it said this uh, kit uses 1500 pieces and should take somewhere between five and six hours to build. So it is a really long project and I'm really looking forward to doing it. I find them very therapeutic building kits like this. You can sort of switch your brain off and just get to work on it. Here we have the instruction manual. So you can see it shows you each process that you go through and you can see how complicated this one is going to be. That is just the uh, base part for the project but yeah we're going to be spending quite a long time building this. I can see some very interesting parts used all sorts of pieces there. So this uh, manual I'm guessing covers the entire build. It's going to show you right to the end of it. Let me get it in. Yeah so this is the manual for the entire build. There's 373 pages and that is what we should be ending up with at the end. It looks amazing. I'm really excited to get on with this build. So I think the thing to do is just to get building.
So I think we have reached the halfway point. I've done everything from the first box and we're slightly over 50% of the way through the uh, manual there. And you can see we have created this base and it's already looking fantastic. There are so many unique pieces and little bits of construction that make this look like a sci-fi sort of base. It is fantastic. I love these little bits of uh, sort of lightning going on. There's really bright clear plastic bricks. You can see these things here look very 1950s. We've got some little cooling fans on the sides here, pipes going in. We've got this really intricate looking little control panel here with lots of levers and again this sort of big lever that you can rotate in. There's a base here that slides in and out. On this side we have a drawer that you can pull out. I guess you can store all sorts of things in there. It's just a really intricate uh, thing. It's very clever use of bricks and you can see we've got this fantastic fantastic sort of triangular pattern. If we turn it over you can see how sort of unique the construction is on the underside. And that's only the first part of this build. So I'm now going to open up this second box and get on with the rest of it and see what we make. Because obviously we've got to build the capsule for Astro Boy to sit in. We've got to make Astro Boy and Dr Tenmar as well. So let's get on with the build. Okay, so that is the kit all built, but before we take a full look at it, we need to add the lights to it, and those come in this uh, separate little envelope. So let's open this up, see what they are, and see how we go about fitting them. So we have a small packet with a USB connector, and it looks like three sets of LED lights. Um, so yeah, let's see what's in here, if there's any instructions on where you fit them. 
Okay, so we have yeah, some very small components. This is much like the other kit, very small little components. So you do have to be careful not to lose them. We have a USB uh, lead with a tiny little connector, which I'm guessing we plug into one of these sockets on here. If I remember rightly from the previous one, so that plugs into that. These are incredibly tiny. It takes very small little fingers to uh, deal with these. I'm struggling with the last one. There we go. That I think just pushes in like that. Then we've got the lights. So there's three sets of LEDs all wound together. So let me unwind those. Yeah, so there you go. You can see we've got three LEDs, little strips of LEDs, and that will plug in the other end of that. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any instructions, so I'm just going to go ahead and sort of stick them where I think it suits best. I'm guessing we put them underneath this capsule. There are three panels, so I'm going to try and stick them it's sort of in the right sort of spots to light up those panels. And then we'll test it out and check out the set fully. Okay, so time for the moment of truth. I ended up just sticking the LEDs around the edge underneath all of these uh, clear uh, plastic brick panels at the bottom because I think that will work the best. Uh, there are only three of this strip, so it's sort of fairly obvious really where they go. Uh, it would have been quite nice if there were some instructions, but I think you can just work it out. So here is the lead. I've sort of uh, put it as neatly as I can. It comes out the back. I've got a USB connector here. Let's just plug this in and see what happens. And there we go. It lights up. It does look really nice actually with those lights. I'm sure if I turn some of my uh, filming lights down, let me just turn some of these down a bit, we can see what that sort of looks like with the glow. Oh yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? That's quite a subtle little glow there. Uh, if you looked at the previous kit that I did, uh, the lights really do add a lot to uh, how it sort of displays. So yeah, we've got some really nice lighting there. But let's take a look at the kit in closer detail. So I have to say, it was a really fun build. I do like building kits like this. And I think the use of pieces to create this sort of 1950s looking sci-fi scene is quite fantastic. There's loads of sort of little details going on. We've got little panels with pictures of Astro Bar and we've got these sort of, uh, you know, electric bits with arcs of electricity going sort of across them. If I turn it around and show you this uh, little working panel here, you can see there's a whole display going on showing how Astro Boy is working. And there's a really nice feature with this one, apart from the fact we've got this little thing that you can move uh, Dr. Tenmar in and out on. Now, let me move him out of the way. If we press this button here, you can access the panel inside there. So you can see that's the little panel showing what's going on. And if we turn it around, it's got a different display on the other side showing the sort of internal workings of Astro Boy. We can drop that back in. It's just really nice little features like that. We can open that up so you can see inside. We've got little levers here. There's lots of clear plastic pieces to make it look sci-fi. Then if we turn it around again to this side, you can see we've got another big lever here. We've got these sort of little vents. We've got these fantastic looking uh, arms, sort of robotic arms that can work on the capsule. I just think it's absolutely sort of loaded with detail. I turn it around to the other side and you can see some of the other pieces. So on this side we have another little workstation here with again extra little levers and this uh, little piece here pulls out. It's a drawer and I've been using it to store the sort of spare cover for Astro Boy's leg. I'll show you Astro Boy in a minute because you can sort of see the insides of him but I've used that little drawer to uh, store his leg in. And then there's uh, this great little sort of moving feature. The whole pod that Astro Boy is in, if we turn this little uh, knob here, we can rotate it down so you can sort of put him into a sort of resting pose where he's like that. We can access him and sort of pull the cover open. And then if we turn this the other way, it raises the capsule up so he's sort of ready to be awoken. And then we've got another really cool looking sort of industrial ro robotic arm here. And if I turn it around fully to the back, you can see there's even more details on the back side of this capsule. So there are panels on the back of the capsule and I can just open those up like that. And inside, if I turn it around just slightly to this side, you can see there are more robotic arms hidden inside that we can fold out and these can sort of work on the front side of the capsule from uh, sort of inside it. It's just really nice detailing like this. Uh, some of them are a little bit fiddly to uh, get out, certainly for my large hands, but you can see we've got extra panels like that. I'll turn it around to the front. You'll see that all of these things are sort of grasping around to work on Astro Boy within inside his awakening capsule. You can see it's just the attention to detail that I think is uh, fantastic. Every little piece has something going on. There's not a sort of boring part in this entire build. It's just full of little detail, little panels, just very clever use of uh, bricks. And then, of course, we've got the figures. So if I open up this, we can take Astro Boy out so you can see him sort of in close detail. So this is Astro Boy in his awakening moment. Uh, inside there's a little bit of detail showing his mechanical heart. We can close that panel like that. There is uh, a leg that you can take the cover off and as I showed I've been storing that in the little drawer down here. So let me take that drawer out and there's this 
sort of leg cover so we can make him look like he's fully complete. Then we also of course have uh, Dr Tenma who is the creator of Astro Boy. I think these are really nice. There's not a huge amount of posability to them. You can rotate the arms up and down and the hands rotate and then the head on this one rotates a bit. Uh, that's about it. Fairly limited articulation and of course Astro Boy has his eyes shut so uh, he always looks like he's sleeping. Uh, Dr Tenma uh, has slightly less uh, articulation. You can't move his legs at all and his arms just sort of rotate up and down. But they're very nice figures and they fit uh, perfectly with what this set is trying to show. As far as the build went for this kit it's fairly straightforward. I went wrong a few times. Sometimes uh, the colour of the bricks is hard to determine from the instructions. A grey brick looks much like a shiny silver brick so a few times I went a little bit wrong but you can normally work out what's happened and sort of go back and fix it. So not really many issues and this is obviously a kit that's aimed at an older audience so I wouldn't give this to a child but for an adult it's going to be a fairly straightforward build. And there is a few little niggles I have with some of the quality of the bricks. Some of the uh, sort of back bricks, the really sort of curved ones, have a few scratches on them as do a couple of these silver bricks. It's not enough to sort of uh, take away from the final look of it but when you're building it and you see a brick with a little scratch on it it's a little bit disappointing but the overall effect is it does look really nice once it's all built. So those little niggles I can sort of ignore because uh, the rest of it works so nicely. And you do get a few spare bricks. Uh, I have to say it's not a huge amount. This is the uh, spare bricks that I ended up with from building this kit. Just a few tiny little bricks left over. Uh, obviously this, that, that happens when uh, things get packaged. These ones I guess weigh very little so you get a few ones uh, sort of chucked in as extra and it's always useful to have a few little extra bits as you go and certainly actually when I was building this I missed a couple of pieces out and I went back and looked in my pot and it's like oh there's that piece I'd missed putting it on so it's always uh, good to uh, keep those to one side when you are building. But as you can see it is a really nice looking kit. I'm very impressed with how cool this looks now it's done and just that little addition of lights underneath really does make it sort of pop and it's going to look great on display. So if you want to get this kit for yourself I will put some links in the description and at the moment there is also a discount code so you can get some money off this kit and some of the other uh, Pantasy builds and if you haven't checked out my previous build uh, building the uh, mechanical version of Astro Boy do check that out because that really is a fantastic kit. I'm going to have both of these displayed together. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.